ready for the pain and feel completely dirty when you're done. Arvin, are you ready for blast off? <laughs> I told you not to eat Indian food, man. How are you blasted off? <laughs> Prematurely. We are the Three Guys Rant. Arvin, Mike, and Phil. I already feel dirty. Call us at 855-693-GUYS. And if you didn't understand that, let me tell you to English, because that was Puerto Rican. You are listening to the Three Guys Rant. 855-693-GUYS. That's 693-4-8-9-7. 693? I love me some three guys. All right, welcome back to another show of the Three Guys Rand here on NBC News Radio, KCAA 1050. AM. AM. Hey, I can't always be perfect, man. What, what do you want from me? Always. You're never perfect. We have not been kicked off the air yet. I was going to say, that's not what the ladies say. You know what? In all fairness to you, um, the lights are usually off and we can't see each other, but I hear that all the time. <laughs> so, again, if you want to talk to us, 855 693 guys. Again, 855 693 guys. For those of you too timid to call in, tweet us throughout the show at hashtag the three guys rant. I never heard you called a tranny a lady before, but I guess it's a first for everything. You know what? I, I, whoa, the whoa, week whoa, that whoa. we've been having, it's going to have some interesting topics. And I know that one of them has uh, been the DOMA, Defense of Marriage Act. I don't get that. Do we really need a defense for the act of marriage? You know what? I, I'm going to say we, we don't. I, I, I'm going to say you want to start budget cuts? Start right there. Okay. First of all, that doesn't affect the budget. But okay. We're going to go with Arvin trying to save the planet and save some money by... Uh, you know, fixing that. One of the things that struck me with the Defense of Marriage Act is I heard a um, proponent, or opponent, I should say, of the bill many years ago who says that if we start letting... Proponent? Se- no, is that a, a opponent. pro my, It was opponent? for it. My, my bad. Okay. It, it, they, they, one of the comments they made is if we start letting people of the same sex marry, what's next? They're going to marry appliances? We're going to let them marry animals? I'm sure there's plenty We're of women out there buildings? that would love to marry an appliance <laughs> before they married a man. I don't know if uh, what you're referring to would be called an appliance. <laughs> but, uh, I know that while it, in college there were many... You plug it in or um, it takes batteries, but it still operates. Okay, again, I, I, you know, you're right. I've heard some women say that they love their appliances more than most men. But I love my TV more than any woman <laughs> on the planet. Is that what you call your appliance? Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> what I, where I'm going with it, though, is that you know, it's ridiculous. If somebody says, I, I remember seeing a documentary on people's weird fetishes, and I think there was even in the news where an individual wanted to marry a building because they were so enamored with that building. Architect? Oh, it wasn't even his building. It wasn't he even just his loved building. The building. He just okay. loved the building. You know, and I, and I guess there's fetishes and diseases. Or not disease. Yeah, we'll call it a disease. People out there who they are in love with furniture and objects and whatever. Stuffed animals. Yeah, and birds. what's funny, though, is how these people take it to such extremes that th- there's going to be a rash of that. So I, I suppose after we let, you know, um, homosexual couples marry, that, oh, well, all of a sudden they want to start marrying their appliances. Well, you know what? If the Whirlpool man wants to be a minister and start marrying people to their washing machines, I mean, what the hell? Now, that's a that's a marketing gimmick <laughs> right there. Whirlpool, <laughs> if you do that, a we washing, want our cut. A washing machine so good, you'll want to marry it. Well, I've seen uh, women sitting on, wa- on the washing machine while it's spinning. That's a whole different animal. Mm. But where I'm going with it is... Are I you talking understand. from a personal experience? Like <laughs> when you were done, they caught up and went to the washing machine? <laughs> All I know is, I, I, you know, th- these guys and their topics, you know, these people... Uh, you know, it's the whole Prop 8 situation. It's in with the Supreme Court. Everybody's all up in arms. I got to say, if the straights are miserable, let the gays be miserable well, as but well. But you know what's funny about it, where I was going with the whole thing? Let, let, let's forget for a second that everybody's upset about two men and two women wanting to get married or whatever. And you know, I think they're most upset, upset about two men getting married. But Okay, that seems to be the bigger issue. What's so funny is when you hear these lunatics and the sanctity of marriage, Arvin, the sanctity of marriage is between a man and a woman. Hmm. But correct me if I'm wrong, Mikey, because you're on your fifth marriage. Doesn't the majority of marriages, what is it, 57% end in divorce? Absolutely. I think it's higher than that in California. And I, I got to <laughs> tell you, all, all six of mine were sanctimonious. <laughs> Did you see that? In the last 30 seconds, he got married and divorced 
Again. One more time. Him and Liz Taylor are trying to keep the numbers up there. But what drives me insane is I listen to these doorknobs and they're the sanctity. What sanctity? There's no sanctity, man. That, somebody made up that wedding crap. What was it? Dennis Hallmark? Rodman and, and, a, and Hallmark, um, the Hallmark, all the wedding designers. The same person all of that. That, that created Santa Claus. Well, wait, wait, and help Valentine's. me, help me. Who, who did Dennis Rodman marry? Uh, your, your Carmen he, Electra? Carmen Electra. Oh, I was going to say he married himself at one point. Well, okay, be that as it may. But he married Carmen Electra for a whopping nine days. Well, look at uh, you know what? That's Kim because, K and her. That's because her you know. Whoa, what? whoa, whoa! Hey, we don't we don't bring Kim K. I into can the tell mess you here. exactly why it was nine days. Why was it nine days? After a week, a woman's exceeded her expiration <laughs> date, so she stuck around two days longer than she should have. <laughs> okay, but where I'm going with this is, you have these lunatics who keep saying that it's all about a man and a woman, a man and a woman. But 57, or to Arvin's point, in higher in California, I think it's closer to like 70 percent. Okay, California. so 70 percent of these people get married. Under the guise of but religious or, I don't know, peer pressure or what's widely accepted uh, beliefs what is of expected insanity. of most people. I'm sorry? That's what's expected of most people. Okay, out of curiosity. Up, you, you find somebody, you marry them. If it's an arranged marriage, obviously we don't have that here in the States. But in other parts of the world where the marriages are arranged, don't they stay together forever? How many? What's the percentage of divorce there? Well, that's again. That's but to Mike's point, that's based on religious beliefs, cultural right. beliefs, the way they're brought up. Where I was going with it is, you know, Mike and I over the years, Arvid not so much because he disassociates with them. You know, we've known many, and I know it's a negative word, gay people. And I gotta say, when most people you meet who are of that persuasion, so we don't offend everybody out there. When you talk, screw to them, them, offend them when they're gay. <laughs> but their relationships seem to last longer. They're happier. I got to say, a lot of I love po- going to dinner with lesbians. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just throwing that out there. I've done it many a times. I always make sure that the alcohol is flowing because you never know how that night's going to okay, end. But where I'm going with it is, you know, uh, several of the gay couples we've met over the years, and I, you know, I can't it, speak You mean for outside all of, of them, you two? Outside of Mike and I, because okay. Mike, well, Mike and I used to be life partners, but not anymore, okay? That was just no. a, they said see, a try Even that didn't last. <laughs> you see, that didn't last, man. That's because Mike's a woman. Civil Union, my ass. Are we going to talk about that Vegas weekend? <laughs> <laughs> that was a short weekend. But where I'm going with it is oh, most you're short, gay right. couples seem happier, more fulfilled. They, you know, the, the, the partners they choose seem to be more real. It's not as superficial as most marriages. Because, because they do it because, I don't know, I guess maybe they, they do it for the right reasons, if there's such a thing. Okay. Because well, let, they want to spend you, the rest of their life with that you person. You can't say... All gays you know? or lesbians. No, no, we didn't say all. No, I'm going to say some of them do it. The ones that settle down and become actual couples and partners, whatever, a lot of them have been together for a long, long time. Now, again, whatever, what anybody wants to do with their nalgas, I'm all for it. <laughs> Leave mine no, no. out. We, we, we let I, you do whatever you want with yours. Whatever they want to do with theirs is absolutely fine with me. But let me ask, let me ask you two questions, and it'd be different for each one of you. Question A, when you're out in public and you see, I think, over-the-top affection, because even men and women, um, according to society, is the way it's supposed to be. If, if you see that, does it bother you? And question two, I know, Phil, you don't have kids. Mikey does. Mikey, you have a three-year-old. If you're out there and there's either two women or two men going at it pretty heavily out in public and your son asks, does that bother you? I'll let you go first because you got a kid. Well, I mean, <clears throat> when you say pretty aggressively, well, you it, know, it, it, I, I would try to shield them from from the act, maybe, right? Whether it's a man or and a woman, or right. two men or two women, strictly because it could be inappropriate, not because they're the same sex. So you don't care. It's just like if if we're watching TV and a, a sexy scene comes up, you know, we we cover his eyes, and now he knows he's a los ojos, and he does it himself. <laughs> but it's not because they're both two men or two women. It's just because of the act. If so I don't care if I'm alone. I, I don't care. Go to town. <laughs> I, you may have you may find some pictures on uh, on my Facebook. I'll uh, put uh, on my uh, phone of two no. men going at it heavily. I don't no. care, man. If they're happy, no that's pictures your of Mike naked, please. No pictures of Mike naked. Uh, you know what, I, I gentlemen, if you want to send Mikey your naked pictures, no, Mike no. at the three guys rent dot com. No, if you don't mind them being no. on Facebook, send all you want. <laughs> Are you sexy naked? Oh, I am. All, all, all I know is my whole thing, to, to answer both your questions, you know, I don't have children directly. I've got a lot of nephews and nieces, and I agree with Mike. I don't care what two people do. 
you know, the other day the missus and I were out and there were these two young people and it was kind of comical and I swear you could tell they were 15 or 16 coming of age, their hormones were raging. The two of them were just lip locked, tongues flying everywhere. Same sex or no? I'm sorry? Same sex? Honestly, I couldn't tell. Okay. Are you they, kidding? They both had such short hair that for all I know it was two girls. Was their hair short and spiky? No, there wasn't spiky. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, it wasn't Arvin. Arvin's like, not why that are small. you looking at me? Th- their frames were both. So I really couldn't tell now that you asked that if it was. But for me, it was more comical in the sense of we looked at each other like, get a room. You know, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I'm with Mike. I could care less. Um, you know, I think there are certain people who perhaps <laughs> shouldn't be making out in public. Um, you know you what? Because not there's everybody's as felt and good looking as us. And every once in a while. So I'll be honest, and this is going to bite me, but. There are regular heterosexual couples. I was going to say, there, there's couples that I know that it's a man and a woman that should not be <laughs> going at it heavily. Well, that's what I'm saying. So I don't care if it's a, you know, the same sex or a, you know, a heterosexual couple. And I, I no longer call them regular couples, by the way, because I don't know what regular is anymore. Again, what people do with their nalgas, <laughs> I don't care. Le- <laughs> lesbians out there, if you want to have dinner, give me a call. I think I think overall it's just about the, the people's rights, man. I mean, the, people are saying, oh, you know, if you let two men or two women marry, it's going to redefine marriage. Well, that's the same as saying if you let black people and white people eat, the, eat in the same cafeteria, it's going to redefine eating. Black people I mean, eat where we eat? Yeah, really? apparently. Apparently. Oh, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. I guess you when know. Fred Hawthorne was on last week, I didn't realize he was black. Maybe that's a problem. Right. Was he? I didn't realize I that. I thought no. he was Dominican Republic. <laughs> so, you know, I, I'm with you. And, it's and just and retarded, I man. I understand that we can't sit here and argue with them. But what I find so Sometimes annoying. Sometimes I want to just beat the crap out of is, them. <laughs> well, but we don't them judge them. Stupid. What, what, what so are we fun? talking about? The gays, people are against, the blacks, man. The whites, we're talking about. But most of them are against it for religious beliefs. And what's funny is we don't condemn them. For the religious beliefs, but yet they condemn us. And oh, them. I do. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know what? Why? Because brother? they're weak and dumb, dumbasses, and need religi- uh, They need a crutch like religion. They believe. No, but what the, they you believe. know what? There's so many fine. people that use religion when it's convenient and right. to their benefit. Right. Um, but let me ask you this: How many of those people that say that it should not be allowed are the same people that are complaining about the budget and how bad the country is? Wouldn't one of the easiest ways for us to start making additional revenue would be marriage licenses? Right. So wouldn't that help? Not much, bro. Well, not much. Again, no. it's, it's still pennies. Plus, it goes to the states. So, I mean, yeah, the states need money, well, too. But what's funny, cities. too, though, is, is also the silliness. I don't, I don't know if you guys remember. Several years ago in Colorado Springs, I, I had the opportunity to live there for about a year. And one of their most highly revered reverends had come out of the closet because he had been spending time with uh, transsexuals. So spending time with him made him gay? Well, no, 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 no. He, he turned out he was gay. Uh, and so is Arvin. And we're going to go to our first break. Okay, yeah, there's some good-looking trannies out there. <laughs> <laughs> I hey. wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back after this break. Please stick around. Transmitiendo en vivo en Los Angeles y alrededor del mundo. Would you like to comment? Get on the radio. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant. The Three Guys Rant coming to you live every Thursday from 5 to 6. You can call us at 855 69 The Three Guys. <laughs> it's not The Three Guys. This is why you should turn in because one has Tourette's, the you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen and you never know what's going to happen. 855 69 Three Guys. G U Y S and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m. right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronandKellyLive.com. That's AaronandKellyLive.com. Check it out. This segment has been brought to you by Coco Cafe. It's a cafe latte coconut water with espresso. 
And I came across this wonderful little drink just recently, and it has to be one of the best things I've ever had. I'm pretty obsessed with cocoa water and espresso, so the thought of it together was a little bit, I'm no, I wasn't sure what I was going to get, but my gosh, let me tell you, it's super tasty. It's made with natural coconut water, a strong shot of espresso, and a splash of reduced fat milk. You can visit them online for more information at drinkcococafe.com. Once again, I want to thank everyone at Coco Cafe for being a sponsor of this radio show. Thanks so much. Streaming live from Los Angeles, the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant starts now. All right, again, thank you for joining us. This is the Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil on NBC News Radio, KCAA 1050 AM. Make sure to give us a call at 855-69-3GUYS. So before we went on break, Mikey was telling us about his uh, weekend with his, um, what was his name again? <coughs> Who are we talking about? <laughs> Do we need to change people's names to protect the innocent? <laughs> <laughs> with you, there is no innocence. <laughs> That's why we need to change the name. <laughs> now, what's funny about that, because I know Arvin wants a segue, where we were laughing is Arv, uh, Mike. He wants one of them two-wheeled one. scooters? No, 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 no. He doesn't want a three-wheeled scooter anymore. Oh. What he, he, wants a, he wants a bike with no seat. But what we were laughing about is even Mike has fallen victim to the social media, I say dilemma, and it's been driving Arvin crazy. That's right. And... Arvin. Now, mind you, I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about, but yeah, that's right. <laughs> you never know what's going on. <laughs> that's right. Anyway, I'm just giving you time it. so you can say something. No, no, no. It's, 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 no, I do have something I wanted to talk about, but uh, let, me, let me tweet it on over to you or, or Facebook it to you. <laughs> that's a segue. Uh, no, I just have a question. Is, is when is too much social, social media too much? Um, now it just seems, as opposed to somebody picking up the phone and calling you, worst case scenario, texting you or even emailing you, they're either messaging you through Facebook or Twitter. It seems like every day there's a new social media site. Now there's uh, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Viddy. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, and it's just it, it just has to stop. I understand if you have family on the other side of the world or whatnot, it's cheaper to communicate that way, but really? Somebody you work with, somebody that takes the same class as you, one of your cousins. I'll let you go first. Well, let me let me ask somebody who's a social media hound. Arvin, when did that change? When is that enough? I, Since you're in a damn I, phone I, you, tweeting you, and getting off, twatted and all of everything else you get done <laughs> online, and then you, first you're off, asking that? First off, I don't get twatted online. Let's start there. But well, you know you know what's funny? In all fairness, I, l l let's be real. There was a point. There was a point. You are right. Arvin, Wow. We had to turn off all alerts. All alerts. If he was taking a crap, he would post it. I take a picture too. <laughs> yes. No, but I'm the only person in this building that does not have a single personal social media account whatsoever. Okay. I'll give you that. So but there you with go. the 20 that you have access to, you don't need one. That's business related. There's yeah. a difference. F funny how you send out messages that have nothing to do with businesses. Has nothing to do with me personally either. Oh, yes. Now, <laughs> even, even the booth is texting BS. I like yeah. that. What's funny about that statement, and I, and I agree with Arvin. I mean, for, for, for those of you that know me. Uh, what you mean the two of us in the room? The two of you in the room. Because it's funny. It, let's, let's even go back to that. Before, don't forget your statement. Go ahead. Social media, when there's been no other way to get a hold of somebody, I'll, I'll send them a message and be like, hey, here's my number. Give me a call. Two seconds later, and keep in mind, I had just called him three times in the last 15 minutes. Two seconds later, I got a message. What's up? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. What, can, what, what, what do you need? I'm like, can you pick up the phone and call me? Can we, can we talk like civilized human beings here? Oh, uh, I'm busy. I, I'm doing three other chats over here on the <laughs> left. What's going on? It's just it, it, it's it's getting to be too much, I think, at some point. It, it's going to get to the point to where we're never going to leave our homes. I it's almost like that movie... Um, where, where they had the, the, the dummies the, walking around. The boy in the bubble? Yeah, we'll go with that. He couldn't leave the zone. <laughs> he couldn't leave the zone? The boy in the His bubble home. came out in 1972 before there were even computers, but okay. okay. Where, where, I, where I agree with Arvin to a point, what's funny is, for those of you that do know me other than these two clowns, 
I go onto Facebook on average every three to six weeks, once. And it's more of just to check in to see what's there. Right. What I will laugh is, according to my last count, I've got about 300 friends, apparently. Yeah, but you had to friend them. No, 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 no. No, I just accept. I just accept everybody who, oh, who okay. friends me to get them off my back. But what's funny is... You know you can put decline or... Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I just l let them think I like them. And where I'm going with it is... So what you're saying is, if you're friends with somebody on Facebook, you really don't like them, is what you're saying. I really don't care either way. Okay. okay. But where I'm going with it is... Wait a minute. We're friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Hence my point. Where, where I'm going with this is that... Oh, we're not. This, out of those 300 people that I've allowed or friended or whatever it was that I did to, to become you know associated with them, there's probably half a dozen that will occupy, I guess now they call it a timeline? Right. For extended, extended pages. And, and you look at their post in between those half dozen people, it almost, and I'm exaggerating here, but I would swear they are posting every 10 to 15 minutes throughout the day. I'm going to go it's probably more often than yep, that. Yep, there's no a kidding. lot of people. Yeah, because I do check my Facebook every once, uh, quite frequently actually, because I've been finding a lot of my own Marine buddies through Facebook. You guys are having oh, a we're, we're, we're coming back to that topic <laughs> right there. Right. So I've been going more frequently. So you're right. There's people that I, I've seen there that I started to unfriend because every other post is about them. Yeah, uh, there, there's and, people. And, and, and if you're on Facebook and you're a friend to somebody, especially if you're on my list, I don't want to see any of your religious bull crap, okay? Keep it to yourself. All right, send it to somebody it, else. Because these is. people feel like they need to try to convert you online. Okay, well, that's different. No, the I'll Lord said this. The Lord can call me if he freaking <laughs> wants to talk to me, okay? Other than that, I don't want to hear from you or if, the Lord. If All the, of so you in the send that to yourself. We're going to burn in hell. Right? Screw if, you. If the Lord comes a calling for you. <laughs> okay, then it's time to have that talk. <laughs> you have bigger issues going Until on. Until then, Stop it. quit sending me that crap. <laughs> no, no, but there's a difference. They have a right to put whatever they want. But if they're trying to get you to believe the same thing they believe, then that's a different story. I don't like people preaching to me. So that's different. But I, I am going to say this. People have some, some uh, be a little PC. If you guys want to post every two minutes, use Twitter. I think Twitter is a good outlet for that. I think Facebook, a post a day, two posts a day with more substance, I think is a better way to go. Yeah, but, but doesn't but Twitter become where... They correct me if I'm wrong, Arvin, because this is you. But somebody commented the other day, they were joking around on something that you posted for us. Because Arvin posts for me, by the way. So you posted something simple. And somebody commented or reposted it. And it turned into this huge mess for them. Because all these people decided they wanted to comment on it. Oh, so I had nothing to do with it. No, then. no, no. It wasn't you. Okay, I was going to no, say. No, 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 no. Nothing you did. Because there's is, so many times where I've posted no, something no, and no, the phone no, rings no. here. People, you guys can... Can, can I even say that? I, yes, I don't even you know. Can. You guys can kiss my ass. <laughs> well, you posted something. If you guys have an issue with something <laughs> I post, call me. But see, that's what I'm saying. But you're saying Twitter. So uh, can, can, does that happen? Do the chains just start, or what do they call it? I don't know. How, I don't know how to use Twitter. So so does that happen where you post something on Twitter and then the, all the hate just starts? Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's what. So somebody commented to me the other day. I feel. Wow, you posted something, and I'm like, I did. They're like, yeah, from one of your shows. And by the way, we have like 14 people, so be more specific. But when somebody says you posted something, I reposted it. Was it the woman one? Because that one, that one took off like wildfire. I honestly don't remember because we, I know we've made so many inflammatory is it, statements. Is about, it about women needed to, to hear I love you or something? Yes. Like yeah, maybe. I, maybe. Some okay. of those, yeah. Oh, my I, God. I, so, I got so much hate mail from well, women. Apparently, I, I got somebody I, else I am, in trouble. I am so sorry if you've never <laughs> found love. You should burn in hell. You should uh, shoot yourself. Oh my god, that one just took off. And I, I after like forty posts and comments and replies, I, I just I had to cut off the feed. I bet you I, those I, were all forty year old virgins. <laughs> there was jealous. There, there was a lot of older women there that I am glad um, hate me because just that was a deal breaker. See now, and I'll tell you what else troubles me about that. Okay, I don't care right now. If somebody wanted to call and just rip us and cuss us out. Well, by all means, please do. Because we well, can no, keep it clean because we're on the Well, yeah. Uh, we can't beep you fast enough. But what bothers me about I where social media has gone fast enough. is when you hear about all these troubled teens. And then you hear about parents who are, are now feel the need to defend their children and attack other teens. And they go on these campaigns to just, you know, ruin some of these young people's lives. And, and you well, know, yeah, having some parents in their haste have caused other teens to commit suicide and things like that because yeah. they, they felt like they were bullying their kid 
son or daughter, so they get an account and they go in and they go after them. Right, pretending they're 13 years right. old well, or whatever. I don't. That's what I'm saying. So I agree with you. Know, so what, what I'm saying is I don't mind social media as a whole, especially, again, for the 300 people that are, are now hearing that you're my friends and I could care less. Uh, yeah, if, if somebody wants to post, Tell them, oh, Tell them. my kid took his first poopy. That's nice. I may never see it. And then my favorite part is, did you see the picture of my kid taking a poopy? No. Would you prefer if they put it in a Ziploc bag and said, send it to me? Said, sure. sure. Send it to Let's Nino. Let's all be closer together. But what bothers me about where social media has gone, though, it's also a venue for cowardice. If, if you oh, look, absolutely. That's what drives me crazy about it. If you love your son's poopy that much, show me a picture of you eating it. <laughs> <laughs> that that I want to see. Okay, well, Mike well, at the three guys. I don't. Rant. Okay, com. Phil does right? not. Mike, Mike at the three guys. Rant if would if like you to don't see love you it that much, poopy. don't post it. All okay, right, but I you know what? It. If it's a newborn, there's nothing but good, healthy uh, stuff going in that stool. See, but the social media has become a venue for cowardice, hate, um, bigotry. You, you do have a lot of people that will post, make some posts. About something that they're afraid they would not tell you to your face, or, or even call you. Right. I mean, again, okay, fine. So the three of us are kind of large, and somebody doesn't want to yell at us. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is there a camera under the desk? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, okay. but you know, I would think that somebody, you know, again, if if you want to call and say that Arvin is fat and nasty and filthy. And Hello? He, he looks oh, like a butchy that, lesbian. That Arvin is fat. And nasty and <laughs> and I, I'm okay lesbian. with that. I'd be like, you're absolutely right. And I'm it a only first time caller. It only makes it that much easier to roll around in the hay with me. But if me. you post it out of cowardice and think it's funny to degrade and belittle people, that's where I have issue. That's the part that drives me crazy. No, I have issue with that. Well, I have issue with that not only on social media. I also have isu issue with that w in person. I hate when people try to belittle other people, but that's uh, off the subject. But but, it, uh, uh, but at least they were in your face, and it doesn't become a public forum, which then everybody feels they need to dogpile on. Right. You know, again, we early in the last thing we talked about, you know, gay marriage, and then you talk about some of these young people. Uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about teen pregnancy. Some of these people, they just go off on these tangents, and no matter what you do goes back to religion. I'm going to say, you know what, in, in this world, there's an age to drive, there's an age to get into a club, there's an age to drink. I think we need to raise the age level of having a social media account. Yeah, but you can't. There's no way to really monitor that. That's true, but I think... Unless I, they open like Facebook and Twitter centers, and you have to show up personally... With your ID and you know, and they'll create an account for you. I mean, there's no way you can talk ever about it. Talk, that. I like it, but talk about Big Brother because I know that there's so many people that I know that have kids. They're about ten years old with social media account. Right, that's just ridiculous. And they pose that they're 18. All right, yes. we're going to the halfway mark. This is the Three Guys Rant on KCAA 1050 NBC News Radio right. AM. And, uh, Call the Three Guys Rant now. Would you like to comment? Get on the radio. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant. 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 This segment has been brought to you by Coco Cafe. It's a cafe latte coconut water with espresso. And I came across this wonderful little drink just recently. And it has to be one of the best things I've ever had. I'm pretty obsessed with cocoa water and espresso. So the thought of it together was a little bit, I'm not, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. But my gosh, let me tell you, it's super tasty. It's made with natural coconut water, a strong shot of espresso, and a splash of reduced fat milk. You can visit them online for more information at drinkcococafe.com. Once again, I want to thank everyone at Coco Cafe for being a sponsor of this radio show. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Aaron Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m. right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronAndKellyLive.com. That's AaronAndKellyLive.com. Check it out. We are the Three Guys Rant, coming to you live every Thursday from 5 to 6. And you can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in, because one has Tourette's, 
The you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, then you never know what's going to happen. 855 69 guys G-U-Y-S, and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Streaming live from Los Angeles and worldwide, The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. The Three Guys Rant starts now. All right. Y ya regresamos al programa de los tres guys aquí en NBC Radio AM 1050. No, people, you did not tune into the wrong station. <laughs> he just forgot to put the uh, pushy <laughs> SAP. <laughs> is that is, is that what it sounds? Are you chanting oh. like the Pope? No, oh, man, it's chanting, man. What the Jesus, the I, Pope. I, you know what? I was gonna the say. The Pope something, can't but sing. You know what? Since you brought that up, you know what? That's that's a good subject, man. The Pope, the, the Antichrist. Pope. We, well, not we. <laughs> the Catholics just elected a new Pope. Right now, am I wrong in thinking that the Catholics are the only ones who pick a, a moral, elevate him to the highest position in their church? Did you just call him a moron? Mortal, yeah. mortal. Oh, I know you're and used to them being called muggles. In but this theory, isn't, uh, but the way they believe, this man was is going to be sitting to either side of God and Jesus and Saint Peter. Now, how the hell does that work? How do you get that gig? How is it that a group of men? That were robes, by the way. We're talking about, you know, you know what we we're talking about before. But they get to choose a man that supposedly now is going to be sitting in the throne with God. How, how does that work? I wear a robe. I know you do. I usually <laughs> don't have underwear on, but I still I wear know. it. And you always, you always wear it with the opening to the back. <laughs> but why? why? <laughs> <laughs> I get I, that. I, but I mean, I, I'm not a Catholic. I guess I was baptized Catholic when I was a little boy. It's a good thing I don't remember. By the priest in the back room? Man, I don't know where, but. <laughs> Must not have been that good because I don't remember. But I, yeah. I never <laughs> understood that, man. I, I think isn't that the only re religious religion that does that? I don't. I don't know if the Muslims don't elect somebody to be the head of, head of their church, uh, and other religions out there. So why is it that the Catholic Church feels the need to have a pope? Because the Catholic Church is one of the oldest, one of the fiercest. But they're not even the biggest religion well, no, in, no, no, in the world. No, 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 but they are the strongest in many respects because, you know, you go back in history, the Crusades were fought in the honor. Yeah, didn't you right. see Indiana Those, Jones? They, they that movie was cool. Right, but what? <laughs> <laughs> I only saw his last crusade. L leave it to Arvin. You but know what? I hope, I hope I love my children one day as much as he loved his hat. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, man, that it, it just baffles me how they, they – I mean, yeah, maybe I'm picking on the Catholic <laughs> Church, and this maybe some Catholic listeners are going to be offended. Too bad. Uh, I just don't. I just don't understand that, man. How a, a man, all of a sudden, because some people got in a room, elected him, threw white smoke through a, through the chimney. Now he's going to be sitting on the throne with God. Is that what this? Is that what they say? Yeah, in theory, that's what. The, so right, John Paul and the guy that just retired because he was a quitter. Right. Is getting a place <laughs> next to God, too? Right. That must be a big table, then. Well, if that's the case, I think Sarah Palin's going to be up there because he's another quitter, but different arena. The problem with the whole, it, again, is where a lot of people make the, um, the uh, what do you call it, that they're similar. Or the similarities are an organized religion, an organized crime. Depends on who you ask and uh, what day of the week. Everybody needs a leader. Right. And I think what happened was, as the stronghold of the church started to become questionable several hundred years ago, they built this premise. So if you look at it, 99% of what we see is strictly based on the pageantry. It's based on tradition. There's no formal law other than the fact that Vatican City has its own... It's its own country. It really is. It's its right. own sovereign territory. It has its own bank. Right. Um, but much like the monarchy where the queen and the others sit, a, a lot of it is, is strictly a figurehead. But when you have religion in a world where so many people, you know, do believe and, or at least are afraid or fear of something, this is why they have somebody up top. Uh, I, I don't get it. Uh, maybe it's my ignorance. I just think it's a whole lot of BS and... Uh I don't understand what all, all the hoopla. The, the one thing that I caught interested about the only thing that I actually learned about this whole process a couple of weeks ago when they picked a new pope 
is that you, did you know that you do not have to be a cardinal to be elected pope? No, that I wasn't aware of until you shared that the other day. You can uh, actually be just a lowly priest, and they oh, can vote you. Oh, but you still have to be a be, part of the organization. Yeah, right, right. And you can be voted uh, <clears throat> into the popehood. Oh, so you, but see, okay, but you do, because somebody commented that last night at dinner was saying that they were upset to find out that you didn't have to be a pope. You didn't but have to be a cardinal. A cardinal, forgive me. But they also made it seem like you had you didn't have to you could be anybody. But so you do have to no, be you at have least to be, yeah, you have to be in Okay, the so you have to have gone through right. the schooling, uh their version of college, whatever. You have to be a priest right. at some point. Right. Okay. But you do what not have it? to be a cardinal. What does it take to be a priest? Well, you can go online to the uh, oh no, you're talking about <laughs> No, not ministers, Catholic? Not, oh, okay. not ministers, no, no. I don't know. Apparently according to the uh Octawell and back there, you need big boobs. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure what the hand sign was. All right. <laughs> so enough with the Pope. The other thing I wanted to throw real quick out there is reality TV, man. How many reality TV shows do we need now? Did you see that <clears> new one, Splash? Oh, with the... Did, uh, did you see what it, what it is about, what with the, the premise is? With the celebrities? Yeah, and what they're trying to do. Aren't they trying to kill one of them? No. What they're trying to do, they're being trained by uh, Greg Luganis, and they're trying to land... Great hold, on, hold on, I knew it. Arvin heard anus and he went crazy. <laughs> yeah. Look at him over there. We almost had to tackle him. I'm, I'm yeah. Googling. Let's, what's his name? Greg <laughs> Anus? Get, get up from all your four. <laughs> Sit back down. You hear anus and you get on all fours. Why? <sighs> Anyways. I he's trying to taste you. He's just trying, to, I guess, to have to land a perfect dive. You know, with proper form of different heights of diving, diving boards. And one of the contestants is, uh, crap, what's his name? Comedian. Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is there. I mean, it's like, at what point are people going to start, you know, watching the, the Learning Channel or or anything that's okay. going to be funny? Because watching... It's funny. Hold watching on, hold on. Oh, it's funny you say that. Let me cut off Arvin for one second before he talks about it being mind. I mean, it's gotten so bad that... I agree Don't with tell you. Me. Don't tell me the Learning Channel is coming up. Who the hell is the little guy? Every... <laughs> I have no idea, but uh, you know what? Let me verify, but if I'm not mistaken... Look, they're ready to go into priesthood. They're in robes. Okay, right. TLC.com has reality TV. Oh, yeah, there it is. Hoarding, oh, what, th- My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, Myrtle Manor. What is this? Say Yes to the Dress. So even, <laughs> even the ones that I respected, I'm with you, have now thrown their hat into that scumbag ring because one, it's dirt cheap to produce. Right. And there's so many Arvins in the world. I do not understand the fascination with reality TV. I, I do not follow it. I, I don't I, get it, man. I don't watch reality TV. You don't watch reality TV. I don't watch reality TV. You'll watch you, you anything. You keep talking about Jersey Shore that and all these other count. crap, That's man. quality programming. <laughs> You like you like the towing company one. You 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 like the 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 duck hunter one. Are, you, are you, people's you, lives that dissatisfying that they need to find release through other people's stupidity? I don't get it. I I just like releasing on other people. <laughs> other well, men, but pretty soon you'll be able to marry those people you release. Wow. On. Uh, no, uh, but again, I think it comes back to what Phil says. It's it's cheap. There's everybody no, that... No, 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 no. I say that's why the networks do it, but that's not why we're... That's not why, why there's so many it. of them. That's because if you'd let me finish my statement, Oompa Loompa... Go ahead. There's so many people that want their 15 minutes of fame that anybody's willing to jump in front of a camera to do whatever is needed. For example, when we've gone out and we've done our rant walking to where we're trying to talk to the one person... You have people across the street, down the street, as soon as they see a camera and lights, people run over because they're yeah, like... Yeah, but, but you, you're making a case for the people that participate in these shows, people it's that the, star in these shows. It's the same Why people that watch people it, though. watching it? It's the same people. Just for... Since I'm not allowed to use the word stupidity, let me think of another word, but... Um, but let me ask you, Arvin, because you, out of the three of us, including Alan, out of the four of us, you watch a disproportionate amount of that stuff, and you seem to enjoy it. You want me to tell you why? The oh, same please. reason I rate my movies the way that I do. When I go and I sit down, whether it's on the sofa, in bed, at the movie theaters, I want to be entertained. I want to forget about everything else. So it's almost literally like vegging out. Okay, but really? But again, to Mike's question. Is your life so unfulfilled no. that learning? No, no. For, for me personally, I can't talk about for everybody else. I think there is absolute truth in what Mikey's saying to where there's so many people that are dissatisfied 
with their current life, you, you listen to so much either YouTube videos, reality TV, they're like, oh, that's going to be me one day. That, I'm going to buy that uh, Bugatti one day. I'm going to have that house up in the hill one day. Because they are so dissatisfied that they live through Kim Kardashian. They live through DJ Pauly D. They live through Honey Boo Boo. As weird as that is, I don't know anybody that would want that lifestyle that Honey Boo Boo has. But I think there is truth in that. For me, it's just complete entertainment. Make me it's, just, honey boo -boo. it's just a matter of forgetting everything else that's going on and taking a 22-minute break okay, from all the other BS Doesn't alive. that contribute to the continuing degradation of us as a people, and then we wonder why other countries. I don't wonder are moving up I, the educational I, I don't wonder. so quickly. I don't wonder. I completely believe that this country is going to hell in a handbasket. Absolutely, everything from the crap that we produce, uh, crap that we uh, put on TV, the music that's on the airwaves now. Uh, as fat as America has gotten, I think fluffy, everything, fluffy, everything, fluffy. everything has changed. And and honestly, I don't know if it's a sign of the times with social media or why not. Even something as simple as look at MTV and VH1, man. There's no more music videos. To me, there used to be some great uh, stations to to tune into. You know the music right. videos, all of that. And now there's none of that. Remember VH1? What was it uh, pop up video? Oh, pop up video was great. That was, that was nice. But then all of a sudden. Uh, all of that disappeared where networks are not even related to what their name is. I think music television is, has nothing to do with music television again, anymore. I, I'm, I'm going to throw a, a um, stat out there with, with absolutely no support because I read it so <laughs> long ago. But in countries of importance, I think the last time I looked, we, we went from number one to be the, being the world superpower to number 34. I think, what, the, I think behind Brazil in regards to contribution to the rest of the world. So it was a it was a huge umbrella, but you at one what? point you we know where that doesn't one. matter because there's no information to back what I'm saying. No, because we can kick the rest of the world's ass anytime we oh, want. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's let, we can't do anything else right, but let's be a bully. Yes. All right, that's that's right there. That's typical American right there. I just don't get it, man. Why all these people just waste their time watching these shows? And the people make a living just blogging about them and, you know, reviewing them. We talked to somebody, uh, what was it, a couple of weeks ago, and now they're going to have uh, awards for reality TV programming. But you see, at the same time, we've contributed a lot to reality TV with all the casting calls and things we've helped. All right. So you're listening to a Three Guys Rant on 1050 AM NBC News Radio. We'll be right back. Michael Sanchez. And I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And you can listen to us every Thursday at 2 p.m. right here on KCAA Radio. What do we talk about, Kelly? We talk about everything from entertainment to business and tech, and we have a few laughs in between. And we <laughs> dance a whole lot. In fact, if you want to watch us every day, you can go to AaronandKellyLive.com. That's AaronandKellyLive.com. Check it out. We are the Three Guys Rant, coming to you live every Thursday from 5 to 6. You can call us at 855-69-THE-THREE-GUYS. <laughs> it's not the three guys. This is why you should turn in, because one has Tourette's, the you other really, one's illiterate. You really should listen, and you never know what's going to happen. 855-69-THREE-GUYS, G-U-Y-S, and the number three, not the. Faces yeah. for radio, voices for the deaf. Look forward to talking to you. Hey, I'm audio candy. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> This segment has been brought to you by Coco Cafe. It's a cafe latte coconut water with espresso. And I came across this wonderful little drink just recently. And it has to be one of the best things I've ever had. I'm pretty obsessed with cocoa water and espresso. So the thought of it together was a little bit, I'm not, I wasn't sure what I was going to get. But my gosh, let me tell you, it's super tasty. It's made with natural coconut water, a strong shot of espresso, and a splash of reduced fat milk. You can visit them online for more information at drinkcococafe.com. Once again, I want to thank everyone at Coco Cafe for being a sponsor of this radio show. Thanks so much. Streaming live from Los Angeles and worldwide, The Three Guys Rant with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. Check out our website at www.thetreeguysrant.com. 
The Three Guys Friends starts now. All right, we're back from the break for the final segment. Those of you that have stuck around, we appreciate it. What are they listening to? The Three Guys Rant. Where at? KCAA 1050 AM, NBC News Radio. What is the phone number? Drawing a blank. Harvey? Yeah, Uno. now we know why we don't have any calls right now. <laughs> Uno ochocientos, no manches. <laughs> That's not the real number. Oh, okay, sorry. 855-693, guys, for my illiterate uh, people out there. That's 855-693-4897. I got to say, during the break, I was reading some of the comments on the topics that we've had on during the show. I have a headache now. And it's not because of what they replied, but I'm thinking they're related to Honey Boo Boo because I'm having a hard time making sense of, of what the hell they're trying to say. I Yeah. I, but I, again, I, okay, so you, what's funny is I know you were reading it during the break. Part of it is that people don't know how to articulate their thoughts, especially on social media, because they spend so much time chopping up words, uh, you know, the way they text, the, you know, you, K. I wish, I, I can understand that, because a lot of times you have to abbreviate because you're only allowed 140 characters. That I can understand. What some of these people are writing, I don't know if they came from Puerto Rico or, or where in the <laughs> world yo, they yo, came yo, from. Yo, 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 yo. te con la Boricua? <laughs> yeah, you, hey. you, you see what he's saying? That's what I'm reading here, and I can't make sense of what the hell they're trying to say. Because she's not pr bright enough. So she did come from Puerto Rico. Hey, so you know what? Here's, here's something I was reading about, and there's actually a term now. You know, restaurants like Hooters and others that, you know, the servers are dressed in skimpy outfits, what have Dude, you. Dude, I, I have an awesome, awesome concept idea for a restaurant. But they're... they're Let's do they're, the Bayo version and call it Peckers. Oh, I heard that in the <laughs> wow! I heard that in the back. All right, can we just go back to letting Mikey finish his statement, please? So they're now they they're using a term for that kind of uh, those kinds of restaurants in that industry, and it's called restaurants. Who else is doing it besides Hooters? Ooh, but you might ask. I know one. <laughs> the Hooters <laughs> was the begin. They wants to start in '83. Now there's a, that other chain called uh, Tilted Kill. Exactly, that's right. number two. After that comes... Tilted Kilt uh, is awesome. People, you have to check it where's out. Where's it at? Is there one around here? The closest one that I know to us is in Long Beach. Is um, it any good? Yeah. I wouldn't go in there with the kids. How's the talent, though? Oh, absolutely spectacular. Don't ask me what the food tastes like because I have no idea. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's another chain called Mugs and Jugs. Is that a picture of Mugs and Jugs? Because that looks very mm. hillbilly, uh, redneck-esque. There's another one called... Uh, Twin people, people again. Twin if, Peaks. For if you guys want to see what we're talking about, you have to check out the stream. Make sure to go to the three guys rent dot com and click on the watch live button. And then this is one. It's called uh, Cowgirls Espresso, and it's a, it's a Cowgirls Espresso. Espresso, and basically these kiosks that are man manned by baristas that are wearing bikinis or lingerie. Ooh. They're out of Seattle. Oh my God! Look at her. I've seen about them. Uh, I heard you know what? I, I would say that that's gotta that has to put a dent in Starbucks because half the population is men. I gotta assume that not they would. They're, no, they're, they're not, they don't. They don't have that many locations, man. This uh, another chain called Man Cave. I'd rather go uh, to a Woman Cave, but okay. But th there's a lot of these, and uh, I know Phil and I were thinking about a concept, you know, years back. You know, what about the man who likes the big booties? We're thinking about calling uh, our chain. Oh, my God. Where is this one at? We're going to call him Boot. Oh, that's the uh, Heart, Heart Attack, Attack Grill. Grill. Vegas. Yeah, in Vegas. That's what they dress like? Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. Like nurses. We're going to Vegas this weekend. <laughs> People, if you guys want to go to Vegas, the bill's on me. Meet me there Saturday at 12 o'clock in Vegas. What's it called again? Wow. Heart Attack Grill. Heart Attack Grill. Meet me there at 12 o'clock. Whoever shows up, I'll flip the bill for it. So... Are you going to flip him for the bill? Is that what you're going to do? You'll flip the bill for him. Here you go. You pay. Um, the, the, we're going to call it our chain Booters. It was being about all big booty wait waitresses. And when you have to sign your credit card statement, you do it on, on her cheeks. I don't, I don't know if that actually sounds. I, I love the idea. I just don't I know think if that Booters be great, man. is. is, is you know, and when you. you dude, when, you, when you're going to sign your receipt, you do it on, on their ass. To me, it'd be like, you know, can you break this up in uh, 20? So, so where... <laughs> Each item, bring me where, a bill. Where, where exactly are you swiping your credit card there? 
No, the, the regular machine. I know. I know what you I'm, think. I'm right just now. asking. I'm just asking. No. But we figure. I mean, it's got to be for everybody, you know. You, you have Hooters and all these other ones that are trying to entice men, obviously. Well, some of them entice Arvin, so. True. Such as Peckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny because that was the first thing that came to his mind. So right. I do worry about him on that note. So how would you market Peckers? Um, the little marine shorts, like the ones in your picture. <laughs> you know what's funny is Arvin came in Monday morning. Every, you know, and normally, you know, we'll greet each other there at the office, and there's, there might be some explicitives the way we do greet each other. But the first words out of Arvin's mouth on a, this Monday morning was, I can't seem to figure out how I got rug burn on my pecker. <laughs> now, I got to say that as disturbing as that good morning statement was on a Monday morning. It was a long weekend. Mikey's response was spectacular. <laughs> Normally, he's in a coma. <laughs> but when he replied. Mikey is good for about one spurt a day. Well, but I got to share Mikey's response when he said. But it's a big spurt. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> when he realized his weekend date was a tranny and had him ass up as he was dragging him across the carpet and Arvin was trying to get away. <laughs> I damn near pissed myself laughing. So we know it was a small rug burn. Because I, I, I threw up in my mouth, but I had the visual of Arvin being dragged across the floor by a very, very large man. Why are you visualizing me naked on the carpet? <laughs> because just the fact that a tranny... Are you sexy naked? <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm sexy dressed. <laughs> <laughs> it, um, yeah. So yeah, that was a new one for me. I had no idea you can get rug burn there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't even know where the hell we were going or where we came from and why it went there, but... Just call me McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> McLovin, wow. huh? Um, you can call me hey, Kenner. man, what about the Lakers, man? Now metal, metal will piece is out. Well, <laughs> <laughs> <People>. <laughs> again, if you're not streaming, you have to stream. You got to see uh, some of the stuff that goes on in here. That's D-D-D Peckers. That is there's actually a Peckers already. You see what I mean? Somebody what is it called? Wine, wine Shack? Or? The Wine, wine Shack, Shack, a yeah. fun neighborhood joint. Damn, Damn it. Peckers. See, somebody stole your idea, man. So anyways, what about the Lakers? They suck? No, we know now this. Meta will piece this out, man, with a torn meniscus. It's going to be out for six weeks. You know what? They need to just disband the entire Laker organization. No, they don't. They just need... Hey, what are your thoughts? To remove the other head from There was a controversy because the, uh, their uh, coach said it he was laughable. That they were going to make it to the playoffs, and a lot of people were. Oh, the coach said that. that? Yeah, I, I, that's you what know I, what? I got to respect the man then because no, no, he's no, absolutely no, 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 right. I'm asking Mikey because I didn't hear that you know firsthand. I, I didn't hear that. I haven't heard. I that. heard because I, I guess they were talking to Magic, and Magic said, "Well, you know, uh, he felt that the comments were uh, in a way to try to motivate the players and make Plus them understand." It, he was it's, it is them. true, though. You I know, figured, we're, we're going to probably be in the playoffs as no, crappy as we've been playing. We're not. Yes, we are. We're already. First In off, there. I don't even know why you say we because the Lakers suck. Are we still back to that bet? Are we ever going to get to that bet where Mike's going to shave his head or Arvin's going to shave his head? When you pay up on your bet to wear a, a, that little skimpy Lakers shirt that you were supposed to wear when we won the last championship, then we'll talk about, about it. All right. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I say we all make a bet. If Phil loses, we'll strip him down to his tantarans and wax him from neck down from the neck down. <laughs> Why, why are you always looking to feel like you want to sop him up with a biscuit, man? Because he should be on that on those calendars of uh, of the polar men. Hey, why he don't we do? Right why don't we do a three guys calendar, man? Oh, that's what. <laughs> that's we need. what we need to do, man. You know the problem is with our luck, it's going to get hung at a butcher shop, <laughs> and somebody's going to come in like I'm like that side of beef right there. They're like, no, man, that's a calendar. No, that looks like a cow. Hey, Speak. I'm all for it as long as it's hanging somewhere. <laughs> oh, it'll be hanging all right. <laughs> Man, so um, we each one of us gets four months. That's right. We each one of us gets your birthday month per, plus three others. You know what? I'm I'm in. I think we should do that. I think so we should have uh, one of our designers, Octo Allen. Uh, people start send, working on a layout. Let us know. Send us an email. Rant at the three guys rant dot com. The first one hundred people would get the first one hundred calendars signed by us. People, you don't want it. I'm throwing up in my mouth just thinking about we'll it. We'll sign them on each other's butts. Uh, <laughs> that, that right there, that's, 
<laughs> that, that's, that's radio worthy. Uh, you know, it's a good thing because Mike says he's audio candy. Guys, that's we're right. coming down to the wire here. Anything you want to say to the listeners before we go away? Well, remember to, uh, next time you listen, if you're in the office, then do it when you're driving, obviously. If you can stream us, stream us. You're going to see what we talk about. We use a lot of uh, pictures and whatnot on our stream. You could stream from your smartphone. Yes, you can. Hey, whatever your beliefs are this weekend, have a great Easter. Believe and in the bunny. If we offended everybody, good our job. Is it the chocolate bunny? The chocolate bunny? <laughs> yeah. Have a great weekend. We'll be back next week. Thanks for listening. Let's. Let's.